When you think of a shrub, you might have an image of a green rounded bush that sits in the background to your more prized plants. But I reckon there's way more to them than that. They're a diverse plant type, and they play a major role in any garden's ecosystem, providing both functional and visual benefits. The Royal Tasmanian Botanical Gardens are home to a huge array of plant types and species, and it's the perfect place to look at how to use shrubs effectively in the home garden. Shrubs are perennial plants that are generally smaller than trees, that form multiple stems from the base rather than growing from one single trunk. And unlike herbaceous plants, the stems are woody, but it's a pretty broad category. So is it a shrub? Or is it a bush? Well, it depends on who you ask. In a classical horticultural sense, a bush refers to the shape, whereas a shrub is the plant type. But in my opinion, the terms are interchangeable and have no difference in meaning. Shrubs, or bushes, come in many forms and shapes and from all over the world. They're an ideal choice for creating hedges and barriers. And there's a variety of native and exotic plants that are perfect for creating a formal or informal hedge to provide both structure and screening and wind protection. Go for a species with an upright or rounded form, with small leaves that are densely packed. This Lanissa nidida here is your stereotypical shrub. It's commonly used as borders in gardens because it's got bright green foliage and a dense habit. It's doing really well here and only requires a regular light prune to keep its shape. There are plenty more exciting choices and hedges don't have to be green. There's the red foliage of the Caprosma repens Pacific Sunrise, if you're after a colour feature. Or there's the grey of Westringa fruticosia that can provide great wind protection as well as habitat. Creating barriers isn't just for people and privacy. You can use them to protect your flowers and your veggies, and they add great visual appeal to your garden. And in the case of rosemary, you get a bit of an aromatic appeal as well. Maintaining a shrub like rosemary is easy. Once a year, go through the middle of the plant and remove any dead wood. And then from there, it's just regular pruning of the tops and the sides, using a hedge trimmer, secateurs, or even your thumb and forefinger to pinch out the tips. A traditional design to fill large spaces is to use densely packed shrubs that are easy to maintain and provide good structure and greenery. And if you use a plant like a camellia, you get the added bonus of colourful blooms. Around the lily pond, the large shrub masses create an almost solid boundary to this garden. You can do this with plants that have similar traits for big impact. Or you can get creative with variations and contrasts in leaf colour, form and height to create a unique vista. Some shrubs are incredible specimens in their own right. This Lucolia is a Himalayan native and its pink flowers that are aromatic, brighten up any space. It's a bit frost tender though, so you need to find a protected spot for it, especially if it's young. But after that, it's easy to maintain. Just prune after flowering. Shrubs aren't just for aesthetics. They play an important role in habitat and creating microclimates. They provide a crucial link between the ground and the trees for small animals, birds and the bees. They're often the middle layers. Trees are big and wider apart. Herbs and grasses are low and soft. Shrubs can be denser with more structural diversity and can range from large ground covers to thick and tall bushes. And once they're established, they also help to control your weeds. There's also great native options as well, where you can plant for density and difference of form to create protected homes and movement corridors for your local wildlife. 
Here, they've also planted native grasses to increase the diversity of the space, where animals can move through and hide if they need to. As long as they're in the right position and have enough room to allow for their width and height, shrubs can be an easy care, versatile addition to your garden. They complement other plantings and they create a beautiful space for both you and your local wildlife. So don't forget to add some shrubs when you're doing a bit of garden planning. <laughs>